Here at Stowe, we have 250 acres of internationally significant grade one listed garden and surrounded outside by a further thousand acres of parkland. It was developed during the 18th century by Lord Cobham and the appropriately named Earl Temple. It was shaped by some of the foremost garden designers of the time. And then there were over a hundred monuments around the garden, many of which have been sold, lost or destroyed. Back in 2015, we identified 54 different projects that would help us reinstate the garden to its former glory. It involved removing some of the modern interventions, reinstating waterways, reinstalling statues, monuments and temples, but importantly, opening areas that people hadn't had access to for some time. As part of our vision for Stowe, we are reinstating one of the most significant groupings of statues, Apollo and the Nine Muses. Apollo is one of the 12 gods of Olympus, and he was the god of poetry, art and music. And he lived on Mount Parnassus, surrounded by the Nine Muses, who were goddesses of the creativity of poetry and the creative arts. They came to Stowe originally in the early 18th century. They started off on the parterre, then in the 1730s they moved to the Elysian Fields, and then after that they moved near to the Doric Arch, which was the entrance to the Elysian Fields, and that's where we're going to move them to now. This moving of statues is not unusual. It depends on the creativity and ideas of the day. There are no sketches or engravings that we know of that show us the location, but there are contemporary sources and letters that describe the location. And we've also done significant archeological investigation, and that's revealed fragments of plinths and also a path Sadly, the full set of statues no longer exists, but an auctioneer's guide of 1848 tells us not only were they made of lead originally, but they were melted down. We found one, though, here at Stowe on the top of Grenville's column, and we have a further two at a National Trust property, Anglesey Abbey in Cambridgeshire. And that has enabled us to create a set of nine using the tremendous skills of the Clifton Conservation Workshop. Here we have nine variations on three separate sculptures, one of which sits on top of the Grenville column here at Stowe. Moulds were taken from the three original sculptures, from which for six variations, full-scale plaster casts were made, and each plaster cast had its limbs disarticulated and head repositioned, and drapery remodelled according to the design drawings for the individual muses. The three remaining muses are largely copies of the original statues with variations to hands and heads. The models were made out of uh, plaster and clay and uh, modelling wax and they were sculpted in the workshops and then following that we've made silicon rubber moulds of them and then cast them in reconstituted stone. And now we're just doing the last bit which is adding the musical instruments and books that they're all holding uh, in situ. So what about Apollo? Well, we don't know where there is an Apollo that we can copy. We're still doing the research for that. So if you just happen to have a statue of Apollo hiding at the bottom of your garden, please get in touch. We're all feeling pretty excited about having the Nine Muses back here at Stowe. It's satisfying after all the research that we've done. We've had so much support from our generous donors, from the volunteers who've helped us. Um, so it's a pretty good feeling that we all have now and we can't wait to complete the grouping. <laughs>